Yorana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. Last episode, we played the Wings and the Mutiny um, Trophy, we played in the League game as well. I was going to sort of skip on a few matches before I came back, but then I realised something. So, if we look at the schedule, we've got Tupai up next, um, then we've got Taha, and those are the last two games in December, and then we've got... Another game on the 1st of January against uh, Morpeha. So we've got those three games coming up. And I got a bit curious because I was wondering when does the Oceana Champions League actually get drawn? Like when do I need to be in the top two? Because we're currently in the top two. So the league will be scheduled on the 2nd of January. So the day after that Morpeha game. Which means these next three games coming up are actually pretty important. They could be the ones that actually mean we qualify for the OCL. Because remember, it's just where we are when it's drawn rather than at the end of the season because of the editor. I couldn't get it to work in the editor with the different season dates. There's probably a really simple fix. In fact, if you know of the simple fix, please let me know whether it's a message on Twitter or leave a comment or whatever. It'd be really useful if I can fix this for next year, because it's not how I want it to be. I've I've tried to save it and put a kind of twist on it, saying it just means whoever sprints into that position is it means they get an opportunity rather than the big boys always getting it. But it is a little bit weird, so I would like to fix it. So what I'm gonna do, because we're so close, this is so important, is I'm gonna play these next two matches, and then at the end of that we should know where we are. We should know whether we need to come back for the Morpiar match, or whether we are actually likely to be drawn into the OCL, or if we've completely screwed it up, which is also reasonably possible. I mean, we're on a good run now, but we've had some bad runs as well, as so we, we could drop out. And if we look at the Premiership, it is still, pretty, as they're saying, we're in second place. We're not in second place, but we do have a game in hand. Um, it's important we do everything we can. We can't rely on the game in hand to be taken into account, because it won't be at all. Um, if we've got a game in hand but we're still in third place when it gets drawn, we're in third place as far as uh, the OCL is concerned, so we won't get entered. So we need to try and capitalise on this if we can and squeeze in. So we're uh, goal difference, not even goal difference, that must be results between teams that go first, uh, which is why we're in third. We just need to get them to drop something or for them to not be playing as so we get a game in hand. So let's play against Tupai. Tupai are all the way down here. They're not doing particularly well. Weaver is hurt. Bring on Higgins. We could do the diamond formation, but I don't trust it enough yet. Not at this stage when there's much more to play for. Keep... Spearling's tired. Let's bring Naren on. There's a lot of tired players actually. Let's bring Jansen on for Lamb. Chant needs to come off for Salaberry because he's been pretty strong. Right. I've selected two outside the squad. Okay. Chisholm on for Henderson. Bolt for Chan. Let's get rid of these because that always confuses me. Okay, interesting formation again. Looks a little defensive. We may struggle. So over to you, have a good night. Nope, don't care. Really struggling to crack this opening talk against them. So Tupai, little island. Got population on it, uh, but mainly, I can't remember if we've played them before actually on video, but mainly in, on the island they've got um, plantations, so it makes mainly a coconut plantation. Um, and in amongst all that coconut is now a big stadium. Although Tupai are technically at home for this match, they're playing in one of their shared stadiums because they're expanding their home stadium. All the teams with the penalty, really. Come on, McIntyre. Important games. Come on, Ahmed, save it actually stepped back over his line. So uh, even if he had saved it, I don't think that would have been good. Does he step back over? Yeah, look at him go backwards. 
Okay, not an ideal start against Tupai. Split our defence open quite easily. Guess we have made a lot of changes, so they're a little unsettled, but... We're bottling it. Feels like we're bottling it a little bit. Hmm. Not really standing up to them. And they're not good. Like, they are low down the table. This appears to be our game in hand as well. This would be quite useful. Even a draw would be okay, I think. Because it's our game in hand. A draw would at least bring us above Moria. Oof. Yeah, so I think I was saying all these teams that are um, getting their stadium expansions done, they'll all be done around the end of February, so they'll all move back. So I imagine they'll keep on schedule, unlike other stadium builds and expansions in the real world. So they will be on schedule. I don't think FM actually has much in the way of delays on stadium builds. Not so much when it's at the stadium building stage, anyway. Do you remember in some of the older versions of FM, which had the 3D engine, um, if you were having a stand extended or knocked down or replaced, and you were still playing in the stadium, you could see the construction work. So you'd see like a, a mess of a stand with stuff all over the place that was closed off whilst everyone was in the other ones. Right. This isn't great. Don't know what to do. So I'm going to shout at them, that's a given. Is that going to be enough to do it? Chisholm. I really what I'm thinking bring Chisholm on is. Whilst Wallace has got more goals this season, he's not scored a huge amount recently. Actually, that's completely wrong. He scored in the last match and then didn't play for the two matches before that. Okay, let's not. I might bring him on for Wallace in a little bit, because Wallace is getting tired, and Chisholm's at least influential, and maybe he'll you know, encourage them to not be terrible the rest of the match. What was that? Does he hate whoever that is on the bench? Sky Brights playing their match in hand as well, which gets them up into the same kind of band. It's tense. Go on, Gerard. Go on, get in. Oh. I've seen him score goals like that so often. Now we actually need it. His touch is gone. Just clear it. And again, we're not dominating stats wise, there's not a great deal going on. Richards isn't doing great. Wallace isn't doing great. Let's mix up. No point waiting much longer. Let's probably Chisholm. Uh, no one really to bring on for Richards. Spearling's crossing like terrible. Wait, only likes using his right foot. Manuel. Prefers his right foot. But Naren can play on the left. Can he cross? He can't cross. Can Lamb cross? Uh, oh, we can cross better than the others. I don't know what to do. I'm panicking now. Let's leave Richards for the moment. Let's give it a little while with their chisholm. Sorry about that indecisiveness. Just realised I don't have Douglas on the bench, which would have been particularly useful. Come on, well. I start to ease ahead, but it's getting late now. Right. 
spearling on Fenara, and he's got two in the last match. Let's give him a go. We're on for Richards, which is a bit weird, because it's a right winger on for a left. Let's swap the two of them around. But that's all I could do, really. See, Manuel's done it. He's done it all. He was trying. Right, Chisholm. Come on. Be creative. Come on, Gerard. Oh. So, Wit did alright there. I wouldn't say it was sublime, what the commentary did, but he did alright. Do I need to shout at them? Let's shout at them. Push forward. So I guess that's what I want them to do. The goalkeeper and the right back were fired up by that. I told them to push forward, and the goalkeeper likes that. Well, go on. Yes! Get in, Gerard. He's always going to be the hero if anyone was going to be. His 22nd goal of the season. Thank you very much. So the right winger over to the non-right winger. Well, the actual right winger. I, mean, I feel fortunate. I feel very fortunate to have got that. <sighs> can relax a little bit. At least this game in hand hasn't been a complete loss. I say that, but there's still enough time for them to get back into it. They could easily score still. Come on, just blow the whistle now. We don't need to play four minutes. Play these extra 30 seconds be done. Or blow now. Or now. Bora Bora have managed to move up as well. That is... So from fifth... To uh, third, they're all on 28. Then I'm on 29. And then someone on 30 in the top. Oh, what a turnaround. That is, oh, I feel so bad. 94 minutes, 50 seconds. Oh, no, 40 seconds. It was only meant to be four minutes, and I was asking them to just blow the whistle. Oh, that is. I mean, it's really good for us. I'm, I'm pleased in that sense, but I feel a little bit ashamed. We've moved it to first. That's, um... Holy, undeserved. That's, you know, that's what champions do. Champion uh, quality teams do. We're so not champions quality. What a comeback. Yeah, be, be proud. I've got to try and get you feeling good about something. Right, so we're going to come back for the Taha match and to see where we are. And then at that point, we'll try and determine whether we're nailed on for a top two come the 2nd of uh, January. I have a feeling we won't be. We'll come back for that match and the the schedule anyway. Right. So we are back. We've got the match against Taha and we seem to be playing on our own with no one else. Uh, everyone else will look like they've got a game in hand on us, but I'm sure they'll play pretty soon afterwards. Taha have the new manager because they were near the bottom of the table. They managed to get a little bit further up the table, um, but they are still not, you know, doing what they need to be doing. So they sacked the manager and got a new one in. Make a few changes. So Weaver's going to come on. Douglas has gone onto the bench, so I've got someone who can play on the left if I need that. Um, that is about it. I'm going to keep the rest of the team the same. We've not had that many days between the two matches, actually, but they seem to have recovered reasonably well. Right, so Taha are a team we should beat, a team we've beaten generally in the past, apart from in that uh, quarter-final last season. We shall see. Uh, go out and impress me. Only one of them. Told them we might fall out the qualification spots, but only one. <sighs> Some of these questions I just don't care for. Transfer winners up, and so I'm getting a lot of transfer questions. There we go. Beautiful. All the floodlights out at the stand. Do 
Yeah, so transfer window's open. Uh, we've had offers come in for Williamson, one of our strikers who played a bit last season, but has barely played this season. I think he may have actually just played one, one match. Go on, Richards. Driving through the middle. Oh, almost past him. Had potential that run. Richards again. Jansen. Oh, well. Oh, the counter. There we go, Salaberry. Yeah, so Williamson's had a couple of offers from, I think, Mountie in the Championship and Jupiter's in the Gold. So I've accepted those. Offers came in for Weaver. I rejected. Offers came in for Anderweg. I rejected, seeing as they, you know, they're first teamers. And I've also offered out Jones, one of the... Uh, is it Jones or Thomas? Thomas, I think. One of our defenders who's just not played this season. Just so if I get rid of their wages, I'm saving about two hundred and twenty pounds. Um, plus, it gets more kind of Austral Islands players out there playing in different squads. I've not asked for any money for any of them because the teams who want them can't pay. And the amount of money that I'd be trying to hold out for, I could get rid of this. <sighs> Don't want another match like too high. Don't think I could handle that at this stage. Yes, yeah, so if, if I try and held out, I've got like £250 or £500 for them, I think I'd probably just scare off most of the teams. Not because it's a huge amount of money, just because we're not at the stage yet where players are valued enough. There's not enough money changing hands for there to be actually much in the way of fees, unless it's the bigger sides doing it. Go on, Gerard, do something with this. So he can score from distance as well. I've seen him put a couple of screamers in from outside the area. Oh, that's that's not great. Diakite. I mean, it was. I mean, it was a great goal for them. Terrible for us. Oh, the keeper kind of just fell over. That wasn't particularly spectacular, was it? Okay. So this isn't great. This means depending on results between teams and goal differences. We could go all the way down to fifth, maybe. Actually, I don't think we would because we beat the Sky Brights. So I think it's fourth that we could go down to as it stands. Because they'll all have a game in hand on us. Go on the round, get it up. Gerard. Oh, you got to score those. I think we're bottling it. This feels like a little bit of a bottle job that's going on. Oh, Wallace, get it back in. Ooh. Naren was never the most likely a goal scorer in that situation, but at least it's getting it in the box. Just have to remind myself that we were 1 0 down against Dupai. It's almost 2 then. Not much else going on now. for then, that's good. Go on there and get it in. Oh, Jared almost. I don't know if Jared's playing poorly or if their keeper's doing pretty well against him. Get it back in. There we go. Beautiful. That is a proper training ground move. Not whilst I was there at the training ground. It's not something I've taught them to do, but clearly something they've invented themselves. So I tell them to do the long ball. But this bit's all them. Um, I think I'm a little bit fortunate that their entire defence moved forwards to play the offside trap, but I was already kind of behind them. The ball went behind instead. Okay, so this is a little bit better. This means potentially... I still think we're going to need that match, that win, or some points at the very least against uh, Mopia on the 1st of January to decide this. Dig in. No changes. Weaver's nervous. He thinks he's nervous. He's not. Let's know what that means. Just get it forward. I know it's a kickoff highlight. Just get it forward. Oh, 
was listening to a podcast recently called um, Brass and Gear. So I listened to a few podcasts. I listened to five... Oh, Gerard. That was his predator instincts. But poor finishing. Did you get anything from this? That looks like a clear penalty. It's like he smacked him around the head. No pressure. Come on, Gerard. Yeah, bangs it in. He knows what to do. And he's on a brace again. 24 for the season. Yeah, we don't need the um, replay of a penalty. We know how they work. See, I was listening to a podcast called Grass and Gear. I also listened to Five Star Potential. He used to listen to Deep Line Pod when it was going on, which was fantastic. I think it's another one more game. Um, but I was uh, listening to Grass and Gear recently. And in this episode, they were talking about Room 101. They wanted to put one thing in uh, FM each that um, they'd be happy that it was just removed from the game entirely. They had to try and convince each other which one to remove. And they had some good ideas in there, but I think I know what I'd remove. I'd remove the kickoff highlights because I don't need to see that. I don't need to spend... 10 15 seconds knowing nothing's happening and that it's just going to then go off. Or maybe I'll get rid of them completely, but only have them happen occasionally so you don't know instantly whether it's going to be a goal or not because it's happened from kickoff. It's just every time I know what's going to happen. Oh, Wallace. Nobody stopped him there. That's a bit more comfortable. I feel like I can breathe a little bit easy now. There's a guy in the car park, a security guy, just watching over the ambulance and burger vans. Gonna make some subs soon, I think. I think because Naren's on his yellow card, he's going to be banned for next match too. Keeper feels a little bit ropey sometimes. Let's bring on Douglas. Let's bring on Wait. Spearling. Just keep the midfield fresh. Jared's on a, a potential hat trick, so we'll leave him to it. He's, he's not going to get it. Yet to see him do that. I might look at Diakite after this match to see what he's, he's like. He's played pretty well. Not looking to get anyone in in this transfer window either, unless I get somebody perched off me. I do need to sign a few new contracts because the, everyone's running out in a year at the moment. Most of them are just signing year contracts. But basically, everybody who's playing, I need to keep. But I don't want to pay them too much more. Get rid. Get rid. That. Oh, I'm offside. That's alright then. I wasn't getting rid. Yeah, definitely offside. When you're behind the goalkeeper. So I've got about three grand left to play with in my wage budget. I think I've got a wage budget of about six. I'm spending about three. So there's room in there. If everyone wants an increase in the contract, I can afford it. Technically. But seeing as our finances are actually in the toilet, I'd rather not. Because I can't see it getting much better anytime soon. Especially if we don't get into the OCL. I don't think there's much in the way of prize money itself actually in the OCL. Not enough to like repair the debt that we're in. It's all about winning it. I don't think we'll win it this season. We'll just get the rep bump instead. Jared's running hard, but he's not going to get that, um, that trick, is he? There we go, that's got to be it. Unless we're going to score another one in like the 95th minute when there's only four minutes to be played. I 
Should have rested Wallace really, but he got that goal. Worked out in the end. There we go, that's what we needed after that shocking to pie match. Right. Well done. Keep the morale up, even though I don't think they completely deserve it. We've beaten expectations. I don't know if you can see this actually, because it's part of the Steam overlay, but I've just got an um, achievement for beating expectations. So. Interesting. Let's have a look at Diakite. He looks pretty good. Yeah, plays in Mazala. Add him to the shortlist in case he's ever available. Slight injuries. To the press conference. Versatile. Sky's the limit. Prefer to set the pace. Delighted. One thing at a time. My job to keep him on the ground. Obviously, great time to score. Um, ah. Seems I'm telling him to do all those tackles, that's fine. Yep. It was a good goal. Only wish I could have players like him. I've got, even though we won, clearly don't need him. Oh, these are a lot of questions. Feel comfortable with our style. There we go. Let's see what happens when these other games are played. I didn't realise these two was that close, actually. We're past Christmas. Going on for the new year. When's everyone else playing? Nobody wants Thomas. Interest is high. Transfer list him. And then offer him again. Don't know why I needed to transfer list him. I'm offering him to you. Clearly I want him gone. Oh, they want me to pay some of his wages. £15 is fine. He's on 120 I can afford that. I'm still saving over £100. Greg Williamson. Go there as well. Anyone else playing any other matches? the next so they are playing today they're playing today I'm not even going to look at what we need to happen we'll just click continue and see just how in trouble we are I've just realised something I don't know if you just saw it then that match that I thought we had on the 1st of January against uh, Morpia is actually the semi-final of the Inter-Island Cup. So it has no bearing on the league whatsoever. So we'd have to worry about playing that match for the cameras particularly. So here we are. We are still first. So Huahin smashed Mahisha 5-0. I feel really bad for them. That's the guy who keeps scoring against us. Uh, Bora Bora beat Tetaroa, so they kept on the pace. Rhea... Drew, Skybright's won as well. So the fact that Maria are the ones who are closest have dropped off the pace, that really helps. I think we beat Bora Bora when we played them. Did we? No, we lost. So actually we could lose that place to Bora Bora if anyone plays between now and the 5th. But if I look at the schedule... Oh, it's literally on the 5th of January. Okay, I'm going to come back and record that one as well, because that's going to be... We'll do the semi-final and that match day, I think. Who have we got on the 5th? We've got Tetaroa. This could be interesting. They could ruin our season again, like they did in the Championship, by beating us on goal difference. Um, we shall see. So thanks very much for watching. I know this has been a bit longer, because it's been a bit tenser. I managed to pull two comebacks out the bag to keep us on target for the OCL. Um, I still think the, the title is going to be too much to ask over the course of the season, but the OCL could still be on. It's just going to come down to that match on the 5th. Thanks very much for watching.